Now, Booker's decision not to run for governor has Democrats scrambling to find a candidate that they can rally behind. Senator Barbara Buono is the only declared candidate thus far. What about former Governor Dick Cody? He joins us now. Uh, nice what about to be here, Mike. It's a pleasure to have you, you back. You know what, though? I'll be honest. I'd rather be on a one-on-one -on -one show. I get a half hour and all those free ads in a ledger with my picture on it. Come on, help me, Mike. <laughs> I'm helping you right now, Governor. I'm giving you the opportunity to declare your political intentions. You've said that you were thinking about it. You said the time would come when you'd make a decision. Has that time arrived now? Are you going no, to run? No, it's coming soon. I mean, you have to understand and appreciate that the uh, Booker thing kept us kind of in hostage, whatever you want to mm -hmm. call it. And uh, so I'm doing my due diligence mm -hmm. almost 24-7. And uh, when I get all the facts in, I'll make a decision that's right for me, and my family, and the uh, people of the state of New Jersey. The key facts being what? Who oh, will support you? Whether where, you, well, you've we, referred to the bosses in this state frequently, yeah. and not complimentarily. Uh, are you at this point? Are you talking to any of them about running? No. Will you talk to them? No. Who are you talking to then? The people that count. Are you are you looking for sources of? funds to run a campaign absolutely positively mm -hmm. i mean if how's I'm gonna, that going if i'm going to be david versus goliath i want the slingshot and i want the rocks too how, how many rocks you going to need in order to make that a lot run? of rocks yeah yeah is it going to be are you do you think you can do it like a quarry <laughs> i didn't realize we were doing flintstones here but it sounds that way how much money would you need who's to fred run? <laughs> how much money would you need to a run a lot i mean we all know that the super PACs will fund mr christie to a large extent and it is what it is, but um, I don't think you have to match them dollar to dollar at all. What do you think of his state of the state address? Well, I think it was um, interesting for what he didn't put in. He put paint on a rosy picture. Mike, we're second in the country in foreclosures. We're fourth, fourth highest in unemployment, 47th in economic growth. So I don't know where he gets all these roses from. It's not nice out there. Our poverty rate, 11.4, well, I think it's the worst in decades. So we've got Sandy, and then we've got all these other people that are suffering as well that he didn't mention. And you know, Mike, we have this gun issue. And you know, Governor, uh, you've said that this is a complicated issue. Respectfully, it's not. I urge you to run to uh, join uh, the president, Mayor Bloomberg, and Governor Cuomo, and get on board on this issue. You know, we've been a leader on gun control in the state for a very long time. Step up. Do the right thing. Join us. You don't think this governor, you don't think this governor is, is engaged So far in, now, he said the issue is too complicated. Well, he said the attorney general is engaged in a major campaign for gun buybacks. But, Mike, we need a federal ban. We need other laws. But that laws. takes it outside the hands of the governor. Uh, no, no. You're, when you're a leader, your voice and his voice certainly is But you're talking about a federal ban. I mean, the governor federal can't ban. do that. No, yes, he can. He can raise his voice like Cuomo like Bloomberg, and like the president. It's not a complicated issue. It's an issue we all care about. In terms of the economics, some people would say, you know, once again, the governor of the state can only do so much. That, that federal Well, that if federal the governor can only do so much, why does he criticize the reformer governor? <laughs> you know, come on, you can't have it both ways. Well, you can't say when you we weren't in office, they didn't do a good job on the economy. But now I'm in office, and the economy's bad, it's not my fault. Well, okay, but you can't have it both ways, Mike. Simple as that. And he presented this rosy picture, which doesn't exist in the state of New Jersey. What's the key thing that he's done wrong? Well, he had uh, his budget so far, first two were downgraded on Wall Street. Looks like this one will be downgraded. He hasn't stood up to our obligations that he criticized past governors for. Uh, he raised income tax on the poorest of the poor while saying, I won't raise any income taxes on those who make a million dollars and over. It's a bad message. To send no, he, to the people he said, in the though, state. that property tax, uh, most New Jerseyans say property tax is the biggest, most burdensome tax they have to deal with. And he says, look at how I've held the line on that. Well, if you aggregate his three years, uh, they're pretty uh, significant uh, increases. But talk to those people who are on uh, poverty rates, talk to the people who are unemployed, talk to the people who have uh, their homes being for, uh, in foreclosure. Talk to them and ask them if they feel everything is rosy, like he, the governor he, said during his speech. He points out that thus far in this fiscal year, uh, you're seeing record collections in terms of income tax collections. Well, we're seeing record collections. Why would you have a budget shortfall? Hmm. <laughs> I mean, Why do again, we? well, because his budgets are false. They're like Penn and Teller budgets. You know, he presents and he says he balanced the budgets. 
Well, who decides whether the, uh, the, ballot, the budget is balanced? He does. Every governor decides so he should whether not or not their budget is balanced. He should not have gone into the rainy day fund? No, he should not have projected a seven point something uh, economic growth for the state of New Jersey, which was the highest projection of any state in our country. A totally out of line projection. About only 30 seconds left here. Are you, are you glad that Cory Booker is thinking about running for Senate? Do you think he should I, run? You know what? I don't think about what he wants to run for, what he doesn't want to run for. No disrespect for the mayor. He's created a great brand for himself, no doubt about it. But you all politicians Frank, you, talk about the next election and not someone who's thinking about some, some election two years from now. Do you now. think Senator Lautenberg should run again? I'll tell you what. I think the man has a pair of testicles, bar no one, uh, even at his age. So if he's ready, I'm ready. From Flintstones to anatomy. <laughs> Governor, thanks for coming in, sir. Appreciate it. You never know what I'll say. <laughs>